Not only do we have these, we are further consolidating on our life sciences strengths. So, we have launched India's largest medical devices park in Sultanpur, Patancharu, which is again, all, which almost, uh, which houses more than 60 units now, including the world's largest stent manufacturing facility. Also now, we are in the process, in the last leg rather, of launching the world's largest pharma cluster in uh, Mucherla, which is about 30 kilometers south of Shamshabad airport. If you have heard me clearly, you would have heard not India's largest, but repeatedly world's largest. Now, one of the things our Honorable Chief Minister believes in firmly is, if we really have to compete with the world, with the large manufacturing countries across the world, be it China, or be it the US, or any other large manufacturing country, we need to operate on scale, at scale. Only then will you be able to bring in economies of scale, compete. I remember in this exact venue about two years ago, when Mr. Piyush Goel was here, he and I, we sat with the All India Med Devices Manufacturers as part of the annual flagship event of uh, Telangana government, BioAsia. I had invited Mr. Goel, he was here. So we were having a closed door discussion. So since it was a closed door discussion, we asked the representatives of the medical devices industry to speak freely and openly. And Mr. Goel is a very progressive man and he was very keen to hear from the industry. This was almost, I think, uh, right around the time of COVID, two years ago. So, there was a round table meeting. I didn't want to take the name of an industry leader. It's not a good thing. He was standing up and said, Sir, the thing is that today I bought something from China, a glove or a mask or something, and I ship it to Hindustan, Hindustan, Hyderabad, or wherever in India. It actually is cheaper than manufacturing here. Now you tell me what is wrong in what I said or what, you know, you want us to compete with Chinese, you want us to compete with other large manufacturing medical devices companies across the world. You say, you are a part of Bharat. How do you tell me? Because I ship from there, I get thousands of people, I pay taxes, I pay all the import duties, and then it is also cheap to make it here. So, this is one thing that was pointed out, which really led to a lot of thinking, a lot of real churn. I mean, not just med devices. Today, India imports 78% of medical devices, 80% of edible oils, and the list goes on. The list goes on. There are several things for which we are heavily dependent. Even the pharmaceutical industry that I just talked about. Heavy dependence on importing APIs from China. So my point is, if we really have to make a statement and make an impact on the world, on the world stage, I think we have to think at scale. Our Honorable Chief Minister led a delegation to China in 2015 as part of the World Economic Forum summer event. He went to a place called Shicho. I think if I'm pronouncing it uh, right, it's Shicho. He was amazed to see a 70,000 acre industrial park. 70,000 acres. When he came back, he told us, he said, they are on a different planet. They are on a different planet. If we have to do our work with them, then we have to do something else. It will not work. What we are doing on a day, it will not work. It will not work. We have to do something else. The point I'm trying to make, gentlemen and ladies, is I think federations are good sense of competition among Indian states is good. But the fact is, even after 75 years of independence, I mean, I can take relative comfort. Jab Anil ji kehte hain, Arun ji kehte hain ki Telangana bright spot hai, mujhe khushi hoti hai, khushi mehsus hoti hai, kyunki achcha lagta hai sunne ko ki hum baaki rajon se behtar hai. But ek Hindustani honne ke nahi te, you also feel bad. Achcha nahi lagta sunke ki hum 78% medical devices import karte hain, 80% edible oils import karte hain. As an Indian citizen, as an Indian, you don't feel good about it. So my humble request to you is, I think Telangana should not just be a bright spot among all Indian states. Hame baaki Hindustan ko bhi rasta dikana chahiye aur batana chahiye ki business on a global scale, impactful statement kaise karna chahiye. And I request FTCCI 
to start thinking big, to start dreaming big, to start really aspiring to do more things. I understand that there are impediments, I understand that there are always going to be challenges. Or kafi sa kafi baar, kafi baar mujhe ye bhi sunne ko mila ki ha, thik hai, but agar hum the return on investment is good, agar paisa bana rahe hain, sab chal raha hai thik tak, to zyada sochne ki kya baat hai? Jo chal raha hai chalne do. Aur Hindustan mein ek aadat hamari hai, jo chal sab chalta hai attitude. I think at some point of time, if India really has to take its place under the sun in the first world where it rightfully belongs, we all have to start thinking big, we all have to start dreaming big. And I can give you two, three examples. There's a company in Hyderabad, Azad Engineering, I think it is called. I'm proud, you know, they started right in front of our eyes. But today, they are working with global majors like Boeing, GE and others. I was so impressed learning about this company and how, what the kind of partnerships they've been forging. Not just that, I'm equally impressed and equally proud that Skyroot, just ka apne zikr ki Arunji, the first Indian space tech company to have sent a rocket into the orbit came from T-Hub. And what's even more impressive, what's even more impressive is, Elon Musk jese thought leader and a disruptor, unko teen attempt karna pada. SpaceX ko orbit be, orbit mein bejne ke liye. But humari jo Hyderabadi company hai, Hindustani company hai, Skyroot, usne pehle hi attempt mein Vikram S karke, Vikram Sarabhai ke naam pe jo rocket tha, which also sent nano satellites into the orbit. I'm saying if these youngsters can conquer the space, they can tread new territories and if they can conquer the unconquered, I think most of you who are experienced, seasoned, who have who at least who have had stars in their eyes at some point, I think you'll have to start grooming your next gen and grooming your own companies to take on the big boys in the world. Yes, we are proud of the kind of progress Indian industry is making. Of course, we take a lot of pride. But, it feels bad because today you will see, 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 मैं जिसमें बात कर रहा हूं श्योर करके कंपनी है आपके हाथ में फोन होगी या तो एप्पल या सैमसंग या कोई और HTC या OnePlus और आप घर जाके देखिएगा आप गाड़ी में जाएंगे या तो मर्सिडीज बेंज या बीमर और वॉल्वो और किया और टोयोटा और समथिंग एल्स होंडा कुछ लोग महिंद्रा और टाटा भी इस्तेमाल करते होंगे बट ज्यादातर लोग यही इस्तेमाल करते हैं और घर जाके देखिएगा ड्राइंग रूम में बैठ जाना एक बार 360 देख लेना कितने इंडियन प्रोडक्ट्स है ये भी देखना एक बार आपके घर में जो टीवी है आपके घर में जो वॉशिंग मशीन है आपके घर में जो छोटे-छोटे चीज है 70 to 85 percent will be imported and if you think for a minute and next time you go abroad जैसे अभी अनिल जी ने कहा कि हम लोग डेलीगेशन लेके गए थाईलैंड और वियतनाम मैं सोच रहा था वहां बैठना थाईलैंड में वियतनाम में होटल रूम में देखना कितने इंडियन प्रोडक्ट है शायद एक भी नहीं दिखेगा मैं बात ये कहना चाहता हूं कि हां हम लोग तरक्की कर रहे हैं हम लोग प्रोग्रेस हो रहे हैं बट दिस इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ द डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंड दैट वी आर रीपिंग यू नो दिस इज बाय डिफॉल्ट वी आर नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी वी आर नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरीली इनोवेटिव अनफॉर्चूनेटली दैट स्पार्क जो था लगना था मैं आपको एक एग्जांपल देता हूं मैं गया था जापान एक चार पांच साल पहले मैं जयेश हमारी पूरी टीम गई थी मुझे वहां दो चीज अच्छे लगे एक तो पहले दिन हम लोग देख रहे थे क्योंकि मैं म्युनिसिपल मिनिस्टर भी हूं तो मैं देख रहा था सारा जगह साफ है एकदम साफ सुथरा क्लीन टोक्यो में हम लोग इधर-उधर जा रहे हैं एक मीटिंग से दूसरा मीटिंग कहीं भी कोई कचरा नहीं कुछ नहीं तो मेरे साथ एक जापानी साथी था वो इंडियन एंबेसी का उससे पूछा मैंने कि भाई क्या करते क्या हो तुम लोग कैसे इतना साफ है वो हंस दिया कुछ नहीं बोला मैं बोला एक आंख की रीत है तो अगले दिन फिर से पकड़ लिया मैंने उसको I said, how do you keep it clean? How do you keep your city clean? He smiled again, didn't answer. Last day, I said, I have to hold this fellow, really get an answer out of him. What are these people doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? So I said, how do you keep your city clean? He smiled and he said, we don't dirty it in the first place. Common sense. He said, if you don't have to throw away, then you don't need to throw away. Simple logic. That was the first thing that was very impressive, the Japanese mindset. The second thing, we ended up at 
Suzuki factory in Hamamatsu. From Tokyo, we boarded a bullet rail, we went to Hamamatsu, we met with the chairman of Suzuki, and then, before the meeting, uh, we were told ki thoda vakt hai, thoda samay hai, to aap aisa kijiye, waha museum hai, Suzuki museum hai, waha ja ke aap thoda vakt bitaiye, ek 20-25 minute. To hum log gaye waha pe, dekh rahe te, mujhe, mujhe thoda museum, museum, mujhe pasand nahi zada. Mai bas idhar udhar dekh raha tha, itne mein Chiranjeevi sahab ka waha pe ek photo dik gaya, to maine ek selfie le liya, हमारे चिरंजीव भी मेगा स्टार जो है उनका और इतने में मैं इधर उधर देख रहा था तो देखा मैंने कि छोटे छोटे बच्चे शायद दूसरी या सेकंड और थर्ड ग्रेडर्स किड्स इन सेकंड और थर्ड ग्रेड दे वर देयर वो लोग टूर ले रहे हैं तो मैं बोला यार अगर ग्रोन फुली ग्रोन एडल्ट लाइक मी इज गेटिंग बोर्ड और प्रॉब्ली विल गेट बोर्ड हियर वॉट विल दिस किड्स डू हियर सेकेंड एंड थर्ड ग्रेडर्स सो आई आज दिस जैपनीज जेंटलमैन आई सेट ये लोग क्या कर रहे हैं तो उन्होंने कहा जस्ट वॉच so i was observing these kids so so interesting and so 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 very engrossing also they went to a kiosk like the kiosk how you have these uh, you know diet sodas and other you know small uh, knickknacks right so they went they went to a kiosk aur is kiosk mein option diya gaya bachcho ko ki kaun si type ki gaadi aapko chahiye suzuki mein kaun si color chahiye kaun si make chahiye usko kaise aapko customize karna hai so they go through a series of steps like five different steps and the, when they hit the sixth button o kiosk mein se us bacche ka naam ke sath ek gaadi aata hai bahar for example my name is ram so mujhe ek suzuki vitara chahiye wo bhi lal wala chahiye so i have to go through a series of steps and then i type my name click and the gaadi comes out with a small miniature version you get it so i asked this gentleman i said what is the purpose of this he said most learning is incidental most of the learning is incidental we make it like a joyous playful experience but we are inculcating design thinking from a early stage bacche ko hum ye uske man mein bitha rahe hain ki aap bhi gaadi bana sakte ho jo jaisa aapko chahiye waisa bana sakte ho ye koi badi baat nahi hai gaadi banana ye bachpan se hum ingrain karte hain uske dimag mein that is why japan is one of the smartest manufacturing countries in the world this was the message that kids were being given